100.9 The Creek. That was Shovels and Rope with Coping Mechanism. That They will be at the Hargrave Capital Theater on Valentine's Day. Hmm. Get your tickets for that now if there are tickets still left. That hmm you heard from was the <laughs> fantastic Mr. Alex Von Coitos. Alex Von Coitos, the voice. Alex Von Coitel, the voice, voice. From Alex Von Coitel, the voice, 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 voice. Alex Von Coitel, my fighter. It's my favorite part at the end. There, what's going on, Alex? How we doing? You know, we're doing all right, man. All right, let's um, let's just recap this past weekend very quickly. Two games against Peoria. Yeah. Um, we came up winless in both. Um, talk to me about kind of what what the field was like. What what we played like this weekend? Well, that that's a great team over there. Obviously, they're actually the only undefeated team left in North American pro hockey. Wow. So, um, wow. We knew, we knew we had our work cut out for us yeah. this weekend, especially. Yeah. You know, we just went up there last weekend and um, they beat us back to back games. So um, the guys played a much better, uh, you know, sixty minutes. I thought this okay. weekend in both games than they did last weekend, okay. and they had some really good uh, dominant stretches. But Peoria just they know how to win. They find ways um, every time. You know that coach there that they have is. He's the all-time winningest head coach in their franchise's history. And they, wow, okay. They've been around a long time. Okay, um, yeah, you, it, just, it just seems like from everything we've been talking about on and off the air, it just seems like with the goalie that they have being the descendant <clears> of, <throat> of one of the greatest of all time <laughs> um, and the coaching staff they have, they're just a well-run organization. Yeah. Now, the fact that we hate them, um, <laughs> Ashley Doolin, um, who is not here, she should be um, in Mexico or headed to Mexico right now, um, sent me some messages um, of some things that she wanted me to talk about. I told you, Alex, I can't say them on the air because um, they have um, carnal language in it. And right. just know she does not like um, Peoria. But um, apparently she does love uh, Tameyev, and I'm, I swear I got his name wrong. Um, Timofeyev. Timofeyev. See, yeah. I knew I got it wrong. Timofeyev. Um, that's her new favorite now, apparently, <laughs> because there was a bit of a brawl Friday night. Yeah. And uh, – you were there, so kind of. Uh-huh. So, um, Timofeyev kind of, he was going after a loose puck in the corner, and um, he sort of had his stick slashed out of his hands and got shoved from behind into mm. the boards. And, mm. and we were already on the power play, so I think the referee just decided to keep his arm down and mm. let, let that one go, which, yeah. you know, questionable, but it's his prerogative. Yeah. Um, and then a few seconds later, uh, Timofeyev, he's kind of fighting for a loose puck in the crease, and I guess they're, he was already rattled, right, because the yeah. penalty wasn't yeah. called, so yeah, he's true. a little hot-headed. Yeah, he's hot about that. Yep, and then um, Peoria's goaltender, Eric Levine, kind of shoved him because he was too close to his net, and he just, you know, he gave him a blocker sandwich, basically, oh. right to the face, and mm. Timofeyev obviously wasn't happy about that, combined with how he was already frustrated. Yeah, about started. the call. Yeah. yeah, so they just started going at it. I think Timofeyev, you know, started just throwing haymakers at the goalie's face, ripped his helmet off, ripped his jersey off. Um, nobody got suspended. Neither of those two got suspended. At least, uh, well, that's good. Amazing. Yeah, at least Timofeyev got got some got some got some revenge back in. For yeah, a second it, it wasn't surprising to me that Tony wanted to to meet with him you know, the next time he's here. <laughs> of um, course he does. You know, for a little kid, <laughs> uh, not a little kid. I'm sorry, a, a shorter. You know, yes, player, five yes. foot eight. Yeah. Um. He's he's tough. He's got he, he, he packs got, a punch. He got some fight in him. Well, that's that's good to know. We had that sad that we lost the games to Peoria, but it's good to know there's a lot of fight in this team. Now let's move past that mm-hmm. and move on to this. We've got two games back at home again this weekend. Let's break them down. First off, we've got Friday night, seven thirty. It's the first night for the family four pack. So talk about that, Alex. Yeah, we're very excited about the family four pack this season. We're probably going to do one per month. Okay. It's looking like uh, the the dates for all of them will be announced later. But the first one is going to be this Friday, November fifteenth, for just fifty dollars. So it's four dollars cheaper than last season you get four tickets and you get a 30 dollars gift card at texas roadhouse so you can have all the rolls and the peanuts that you want that's, that's right beautiful like i said that's and that's literally you're talking that, that is a ridiculous price to get the entire family out there so 50 dollars for that now they need to get that 24 at least by 24 hours in advance correct yes yeah so just call our office 478-803-1592 that's the best way we'll get you all squared away that way okay and then the second part of this night is it is tidy whitey night now i've been um it, it, this 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 uh, this promotion has has scared me um because we need the people to know unopened underwear <laughs> still in the package um go to Walmart buy it keep the receipt in the bag don't even touch the bag once you buy it from Walmart then just bring it down to the game 
And then at some point during the game, we're going to throw all these things onto the ice, apparently. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And, and the, you know, the products are going to get donated to the local charities. Yes. Um, so with that in mind, we want to make sure that they're you know, very clean. Yes. And unused. Unused. And ideally. <laughs> ideally. Uh, not even ideally. No, required. Yeah, requested. Requ- yeah, just, just call it right there. It, it, is, it is only unused, unused underwear. Underwear, underwear and socks. Um, but yep. they're like socks and, and, and scarves and gloves and things like that. Mm-hmm. Just so people can keep warm during the holidays and during this winter season because we do not want people cold and things like that. So that is Friday night. That game is at 730 versus Knoxville. Yes, sir. And then on Saturday is Cancer Awareness Night versus Birmingham yeah. um, starting at 7 p.m. So, like I said, always um, 30 minutes earlier on the Saturday night games for that. Um, you can get all of this information and tickets and things of that nature um, at makingmayhem.com. Um, make sure when you go to these games, um, say hi to Alex. Leave Alex alone. He's got a lot of yeah. things to do. He's thinking about things. <laughs> He's trying to process, get a feel of the game or, or, or the match, Wh- whatever. Leave him alone. Say hi. Wave to him. Say, yeah, I heard you on the creek. You do a great job. Um, tell him you like. Tell him that you like his um, his intro music because I like it. Um, you should like it as well. It grew on you. You didn't like it, it, it at first. You know what? I didn't. It took me a second for us, but then once <laughs> once it gets into your system, Alex, it's just there. Right. Um, then let's make sure we talk about this as well. Line change tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Um, the uh, Leo Thomas coach show right on the creek stage right below our feet there um come on out do we know does he kind of decide later on who what players he's bringing in or what what y'all are bringing in i, I usually decide uh this after monday afternoons okay. um i think i'm probably actually going to go for team of Fayev. yeah probably Obviously, be a good one a lot to talk about probably be a good one yeah, and then uh danny caesar he had a good weekend for okay us. he scored a goal both games so well either way I'm you're going to have uh um, making mayhem players there. you're going to have alex there. you're going to have coach leo thomas there come up say hi get your autographs get your pictures for your instagrams and things of that nature so check that out alex it is always great to have you here absolutely um, always good to see you we will see you next monday and as always because i like it now like it's there <laughs> like it is you know i wasn't really big into the edm right um, but then you know this is um it's got me plus i'm like all over <laughs> <laughs> this is the Tedeschi Trucks Band's Midnight uh, Midnight in Harlem. We'll be back.